Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Taurus. Hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light as usual. This will be a general collective reading. It will not resonate with all of you. Please take it resonates and leave the rest. But if you have some moon rising or Venus placements in Taurus or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my extended readings. If you're interested, there is a link um, in the description box, or you can click the join button below for more information about that. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. All right, what's going on with my Taurus collective? What's going on with my Taurus collective? All right, we have the Seven of Wands. The King, ooh, <laughs> the King of Swords in reverse. Mm. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We have, let's move these down here. Thanks. Judgment in reverse. What's that on my card? What is that? I don't know. Um, Scorpio energy. Somebody is not. The, ooh, definitely Virgo energy. So guys, the, the message for today is that I can already see is that you need to stand your ground in a situation because you guys have some, a liar coming towards you or somebody that still hasn't made up their mind about something or they're trying to maintain some type of control over you or they're trying to come towards you to manipulate you in some way. They're not going to be telling you the full truth. They think they still have some type of power over you that they can utilize to their advantage. But I feel like this person's maybe like trying to maintain some type of control over you. They may be trying to keep you from moving on. Like they're still very unemotional too and like not in their heart space. Like they're coming towards you like, I don't even know, but it's like, they have not changed like at all. Like they haven't healed. They haven't even really thought about what the fuck they did to you. Like they're still stuck. They keep repeating the same. Like this will be like, if you, you engage with this person or you go back into dating with them or associating with them again, spirit is saying that this will be a repeat cycle. Like this person has not changed. They're going to end up rejecting you again, or they're going to end up isolating themselves from you again. That like, this person is not, they haven't learned their lesson. So they're telling you that you need to kind of either block this person or defend yourself, protect your energy, protect your territory, um, and stand your ground here. Very clear message already. Tell me about the seven of wands. Yeah, the nine of wands in reverse. Yeah, they're telling you to be defensive. Like, don't let your guard down with this person. Like, this person's going to maybe say that they want to come to some type of compromise with you or want you to compromise or like, I heard sacrifice Like they're going to want you to kind of like I'm almost get into like the vibe of like settling. They may not ask you to settle, but like that's in a nutshell what they're asking you to do. And spirit is saying, do not do that. But like, I see you be like, I already feel like you guys are going to be in this very defensive energy with this person. Okay. Um, or this person coming in is about to overwhelm the hell out of you. I feel like they're also like very stubborn and being resistant to change. Like they're, they want things their way. Like they, that's what I'm saying. They want to have the power. They want to have the control. They maybe not like the way that things were left off between the two of you or like they don't like that they they maybe feel like you have the upper hand like it's like some type of it's not because they're coming towards you because they love you or they have emotions and feelings for you that's not the reason I mean, they may have those feelings but that's not the, re the their motivating factor for why they're coming towards you they're coming towards you to like keep you from like to they this is very strategic that they're coming towards you like they have the, they have a motive Same about the king of swords in reverse like they thought they thought about this. I don't think I don't I don't know. But <laughs> Queen of Pentacles in reverse. See, yeah, I'm telling you. This person feels like, first of all, they could be mm, let me see. What's the Queen of tell me about the judgment in reverse? Mm-hmm. Queen of Swords in reverse. Mm-mm. Tell me about the hermit. Mm. The, the ace of swords. So I feel like you guys are gonna um reject this person and then all of a sudden they're gonna have this like breakthrough if this there's two queens here so 
this person could have been trying to make we have did I say Virgo Scorpio Taurus Virgo Capricorn Gemini Libra Aquarius here we have the Queen and King of Swords here two you know what I feel like you guys are in this energy where you're no longer tolerating this from this person anymore. There's another feminine energy here. It's like this person could have tried to resurrect a situation with this other person or they are, they were still, they're still learning. Like there's, there's a karmic here and like, they're still in the midst of learning karmic lessons from that person or they did. I don't know. Like there's somebody here that's just like them or very similar to them. Cold, harsh, cruel, deceitful. They're both liars. They're both sneaky. They're both, they're both malicious and have like motives and manipulative, bitter, negative ass people. Okay. They could even be fighting, beefing with whoever this is. All right. Um, what is the, why is the, um, yeah, with the two of swords, this person has been trying to figure out, or you're going to have to make a choice. I don't know, but I feel like it's more, mm, See, this person thought that this person, somebody was trying to make a decision about what was going to make them happy. They were weighing their options. I feel like this person thought that. If they did choose to go towards that other situation, thinking that that was what was going to bring them fulfillment or money, contentment, they were going to be more content or achieve something in that situation. Or like maybe for some of you, this is somebody that's just been stuck in limbo, like not making a decision between you and this other person. And that's why they've been like trying to maintain some type of control over you until they make a decision, which is extremely selfish. You know what I mean? They're, they're, they're going to string you along and give you false hope just to possibly not choose you. No. And I don't think they're being honest with you about this. It's like they, somebody was trying to make a decision about what they felt was going to be bring them happiness. But like with the six of wands in reverse, this person has a fear of failure or making a wrong decision or something like that, or their ego. I don't know. They failed at something or they're going to fail at something. Let's clarify the queen of pentacles in reverse. See, yeah, they're viewing you as a missed opportunity. It's like you're if you were offering this person, like you want a commitment with them, you're like maybe no longer wanting that with them. What does that mean for whoever this person is? Ace of Pentacles in reverse. The tower. The tower, Scorpio energy. The wheel. See, yeah, they're going through bad karma, y'all. What's this mean for my collective? Ooh, they hurt you. They backstabbed you. Mm -hmm. They put you in competition for some of you. What is the five of wands? Yeah, I feel like you're like, I'm take, taking myself out of the, the competition. I'm not competition. You freed yourself from like, they just brought a lot of conflict and like tension into your life. And I definitely feel like they had other options. Yeah, this is somebody that's like ending something with somebody else and then rushing toward you. Yeah, they're, this, they're leaving a third party. Some of you guys could be dealing with, who, who did I do yesterday that had a reading like this? To a Capricorn. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn. This is somebody that's that hurts you. They stabbed you in the back. They betrayed you in some way. Mm hmm You you took it was a very um it was a, it's a it was a great emotional loss. But it's like every time that it's like when this person left you, like you had to really heal from them. And it's like I feel like you freed yourself from this. Or what does this mean for, what does the Ten of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Eight of, Eight of Swords mean for this person's situation? Yeah, I feel like they thought they were going to get something out of another situation, and it didn't work out that way. They got betrayed in some type of way, because I told you, they're going through a tower. And it's like making them look at you as like a missed opportunity. Or whatever they thought was going to be the Ace of Pentacles didn't turn out to be that way. Yeah, they're, they're like, if they thought that was going to help them have more money or more stability or something like that, that didn't work out. I don't know. Yeah, but there's some heavy missed opportunity energy here. So they're viewing you as a missed, missed opportunity. But it's like, unfortunately, though, guys, this person is still resistant to change. They're still not wanting to heal. They're still not wanting to make the changes that they would need to, to make to be with you. But I feel like you're about to reject this person. 
I feel like now they're wanting to leave a situation because there's too much conflict. There was a betrayal there. Things collapsed. They feel like they wasted their time in that situation or something didn't like grow into what they thought it was going to grow into. I don't know, but it's like something didn't like grow into what they thought it was going to. What is it? So what does this mean for my Taurus collective? Okay. See the six of, or this is you guys. Oh yeah. This is you guys thinking that, oh, you thought this was your happily ever after with this person. Yep. You guys feel like you wasted your time on this person. And it's like you and this person could never get on the same page. Like there was constant conflict. You're dealing with a very egotistical person that was wanting you to put in all the work and them not put in anything. There was, there was very one-sided between you and this person. Yeah. Strings attached. It was like for what you could do for this person and not for what you guys could do for each other. All right. There was definitely in a very selfish person you've been dealing with. Okay. Um, You guys thought that this was going to be your happily ever after in this per and it didn't turn out to be that way. It didn't, it was unsuccessful. A lot of conflict, a lot of betrayal, hurt here. So I feel like you guys are freeing yourself from this. So what's that mean for this person? Yeah, now they want to take some type, they're going to take some type of action. But guys, just know, Page of Pentacles, they have nothing to offer you. Or very little to offer you. They're going to reach out to you. I see them sending you a message. They have somebody toxic around them. I'm telling you guys. They have somebody toxic around them. Or they're healing from this situation still. Yeah, they're trying to heal from something. Or it's like, this is you guys trying to recover from being with this person. Trying to get back confident and know your worth. And yeah, this, I feel like this person cheated. Or they had another person. Page of Pentacles, Four of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this person, mm -mm, you can't trust this person. They're, they're going to hear from this person. I feel like you've been in no contact with them. But you're going to, 12-12 on the camera. Yeah, you're going to hear from this person. But they don't have much to offer you. That's why this ace, that's why this is getting rejected. Cause like this pinnacle, this is the pinnacle that they're coming in and offering you. It's not enough. Or it's just, you don't even want it anymore because they may tell you that they're going to be more consistent with you, that they are faithful to you. They will be loyal to you. Mm, they want to have a future with you. I don't know, but I think this is going to end up getting rejected. And with the ace of swords, it's like, Tell me about the Ace of Swords. It's like it's, this person is going to get some type of clarity about something, or this is going to be a breakthrough for you. Yeah, I'm telling you. It's like you're going to reject this person's offer, and then they're going to be like, oh, shit. They were in some type of illusion. This person's delusional. Some, was this the last Taurus reading that was like this? Some, I just did a reading like a few days ago about a delusional ass person, and I don't know if it was this person or somebody, or I don't know if it was Taurus or what, but I did it a few few days ago. And it's like, this person, you reject this person and it's, they're flabbergasted by this. What do you mean? It's like, this person thought that they could go off and choose somebody else over you, have a whole ass other situation, cheat on you, do all this, this and that, hurt you, but that you would just still be there. Like this person's not going to be expecting that you are rejecting this offer. Like you're going to ignore this person. They're going to reach out to you. And I feel like you're going to not even pay any, them any mind or something like that. Like it's going to get rejected. And then all of a sudden, like all this person's feelings and emotions and they're going to, is going to come up to the surface. Like they're going to, yeah. Like now all of a sudden they're going to want to manifest something with you. It's the, the, the sad part about it guys, with the magician here, Gemini, Virgo, Aries, whatever is Pisces energy here too, is that this person could have given this to you before. Whatever it is that they're going to want to give you, or I don't know, but it's like this person was repressed, suppressing their emotions or rep they had repressed emotions. They were in this illusion, but it's like, whatever this is, it's snapping them out of this illusion that they were in. I think they were in an illusion that, that you would always be there or that they could come back to you. Maybe you've not let this person do this before, right? But it's like the, the sad part about it is that like whatever this person is going to want to offer you after you reject them is something that they could have offered you all along. And that's what's is terrible. It's like, they're going to want to like, try to make something up for up to you because of a bad decision that they made. Or it's like, you're detaching from them. 
Mm, yeah, I don't know, y'all. <laughs> this person, I just still just don't feel like it's going to work out. Even if, like, they may want to, like, try to manifest something with you, this rejection or whatever, after this rejection. But it's like, they're still not, they're still very immature. Like, they're not ready. And I feel like you guys may know this. Or this person's just very predictable at this point. It's like they may not be learning their lesson, but you could be learning your lesson. Yeah, I just did. A, I think it was a collective reading that I did the other day that was like this, too. They're expecting that with the Queen of Wands in reverse, they're expecting the you that had, didn't have know their worth. Yeah, which is sad. I don't know where I saw it on the back of the deck. It was the Queen of Wands in reverse, Aries Leo Sag energy. They're expecting you to, they're, they're wanting to come to, they're thinking they're going to come towards you with, and you still not know your worth. And that's not going to be the case this time. Or they're, for some of you, they try to make you jealous or they may try to. I don't know. It's ridiculous. We have losing battle. I told you, you gave up. I feel like you gave, you guys are giving up on this or you just feel like this, some people are feeling like this is a lost cause. It says you are fighting a losing battle against your opposition. Don't downgrade yourself. Play at your level, not theirs. Yeah. Some of you guys even feel like, damn, like I got in this entanglement. I got so in too deep with somebody that I lowered my standards for. Like I always deserved a lot better. How did I get into this? You know what I mean? Like, and it's because of, again, going back to self-worth. It's like some of you guys are realizing that you always deserve better. Like, how did you get into a situation like this why didn't you love yourselves more you know what i mean it's that type of thing but yeah we have solitude time spent in solitude has given them a chance to get to know themselves better and set a more solid foundation it's like they you kind of need to if they can't meet you at your level then that's why i feel like that's why you're rejecting them like you know that if you go back into that and they're below beneath you or i don't even want to say beneath you but like you you guys are on, on two different levels they're way down here and you're way up here you know that it's not going to work now. You know what I mean? Like this person needs to get level up or they need to be willing to meet you at your level. You know what I mean? Put, put in the same amount of work that you put in. Not compromise. You're, of course, you know, relationships require compromise, but them wanting you to just settle, that's that's a no-go. You know what I mean? Like, and it doesn't even have to be financially. Like, you know what I mean? Them, them putting in effort, them messaging you, them making time for you, things like that. If they can't do those things for you, if they're not willing to give you something that's pretty much equal, then yeah, no. So I feel like this person needs some time alone. That they need. I feel like this person doesn't like being alone. With the Hermit in reverse, this is somebody that tries to do anything to avoid being alone and having to sit with themselves. Because, you know, when you're alone, you start really like, you know, going into getting in your head and, um, you know, self-reflecting. And it's like they don't want to do that. This person, like, is maybe one of those types of people that jumps from person to person to avoid having to heal and work on themselves, unfortunately. We have exhausted. Yeah, there's a lot of baggage that needs to be taken care of before they approach you. They're really trying to trust the situation. Hmm. I don't know what the re the relationship was between them and this person. It doesn't look like they're on good terms, I'm going to be honest. It's not anybody that they get along with. So I don't really know why they were dealing with that person. It could have been from, I don't know. For some of you, it's somebody that they're, I don't know. It could be somebody that they're married to. I don't know, but. Yeah, endings, whatever. Right as I'm talking about that other situation, that situation is coming to an end. It says they entered your life to test you, teach you, and bring out the very best in you. Now their part in your story is over. I don't feel like that's between you and this person. That's between them and this queen of swords, whoever that is, or this king of swords. What does this mean for their connection with my Taurus collective? Yeah, they just feel like they met you at the wrong time, or it says they wish they met you at a different time because they feel they'll never get to see what the connection could have been. Hmm. Tell me more about what's going to happen going forward with their connection with my Taurus Collective. Hmm. Not that. Yeah, this person was playing games with you. They they tried to like use you for sex, or they don't. If this is somebody that they're in a relationship with, they don't like sleeping with that person. Or they don't like. I don't know what kind of type of dynamic they got going on over there doesn't even, I mean, for some of you, it doesn't even have to be platonic. I mean, uh, it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be platonic is what I'm saying. So it says sexual, sexual union, their greatest sex memory is with you, but it's more than just sex. It's their memory of feeling so close to you. Yeah. This person is feeding for you. 
So be careful of this person. I just did a reading like that a few days ago too. I don't, I think it was the twin flame reading. Um, that was like similar to that, but <sighs> foolish. Yeah. They feel like a fool for crossing the line and messing up the connection, but too embarrassed to come forward. They know that they did something. They stepped out on you guys, or they went and they got in a relationship with somebody else. And they know that you know about this. I don't know. They feel dumb because they chose something over you that didn't work out. Like, or that was just like, they thought it was going to make them happy. It didn't. So now it's like they're going to have to come back towards you with the tail between their legs, legs, but they crave you a lot, guys. Like they feel, it says they have an insatiable thirst, a thirst that no one else but you can satisfy, craving you more and more. Mm. Anything else? Anything else, Spirit? Let's do one more shuffle through these and then I'm going to take it over to the extended reading. The journey. Mm. This love journey may be long and challenging, but so long as you are with them, you'll never walk alone. Mm. So even if you are not physically with this person in the 3D, you guys could be, you know, interacting in the 5D potential. They're deep in their thoughts about you, realizing their distractions prevented them from seeing the potential in you. Yeah, they. I told you, it's something to do with money and work, guys. That's what they were more focused on. So I don't know if they thought that this other person was going to bring them some type of financial stability or that they could, like, build the foundation that they wanted to with that person. I don't know, but... They were distracted by something. It says they see how their focus on material things have, have hasn't made them happy. For some of you, they could have maybe chose, yeah, chose whatever. I think if there's another, there's a karmic here. And whoever that karmic is, it was before they chose that person because of material reasons. Yeah, and it held them back. They chose money over love or material things, superficial things over love. Then we have unexpected. Yeah. The answers you seek are coming, but when the answers arrive, it might be too late or you have moved on. Yeah, I don't know. We have marriage on the back of the deck. They see you as marriage material, someone that inspires them to create a strong foundation for marriage. So, guys, I know this is going to sound strange. Oh, they use this other person. <sighs> how do I explain this to you guys? This is so freaking weird. I don't even know how to explain it to you. So, it's like this person always had the intent to be with you. All right. But for some reason, they felt like whatever they had going on over there. It's like, let's let's put it this way. That you maybe had a you you had a, your own version of how you and this person could could get to having something solid. Right. And they had a completely different like you guys weren't seeing things the same way. I don't know how to explain it to you guys, but it's like. They were like, well, I need to do this, this and this to be with Taurus. And you were like, no, you, we can do this, this, and this, and we can still get to that same point. But they were like, no, my way is better. They thought for some reason that the, the whatever path they chose was the best way for them to build a solid foundation so that they could end up having being with you long term. But and like this is so they have a they're delusional guys because they literally could have went back to an ex or they got into a relationship with somebody that they thought that they could like, they use that as like a come up. I hope that what I'm saying makes sense. Like they had no intention of being with that other person long-term. They don't see that person as like long-term relationship material. They thought that that being with that person for right for the time being or choosing whoever this is over you or whoever this queen of swords in reverse is, whoever this other person is, they thought that that by being with that person for right now or dealing with that person for right now, that was the best way to be able to get to this with you, which is so weird. I know you guys are going to be like, what the hell? But I'm telling you, they were so focused on like getting their money together. They thought that with this other person, they could get their other, their money together or they were using that person in some way. They thought that with that person, that that was the best way for them to be able to build a solid foundation, that they could get it done faster that way or more efficiently than if they were to try to just choose you and like grow with you, which is stupid. What they don't, what they, what they didn't understand. It's like they thought they could just use this other person and then come back to you once they like, which is people do that shit all the time, guys. It's like this other person could have been helping them financially incur whatever, doing whatever. And then it's like, they're like, well, no, peace out. I'm about to go back to Taurus. Like, it's so gross, guys. Like, this is how this person's mind is very, like, they have a very skewed way of looking at things. I don't know why they ever thought that this was going to be a good, and that you would want them back or you would just take them back and that that wouldn't hurt you. 
Like that wouldn't, that wouldn't be extremely hurtful to you for them to do this to you. I feel like they're almost trying to keep this a secret from you. They, they didn't want you to find out about it. Yeah, they didn't want you to find out that this is what they were doing because obviously you would not be okay with them getting into a relationship with somebody else just to have a come up and then coming back to you. This per and what this person's doing is reaping karma. This person's delusional. They really think that they're going to use this person and then when they run when they use this person and they're done dealing with this person, they're going to come back towards you, but they're going to realize that that's not how that's going to work out for them. And even if you guys do let this person come back, it's not going to be right away. It's like they've always had the intent to marry you. It's ridiculous. They just felt like they needed to have a stronger foundation for themselves, which is true. But you don't use somebody else to do that. You do that for yourself. This person's reaping really bad. That's what I'm saying. They're about to be going through some karma. And I feel like shit is not good between them and this other person. They maybe chose that other person thinking that, oh, you know, it's just turmoil. They probably didn't get anywhere. You know what I mean? Like dealing with this person. They didn't get anywhere. They did not make the progress. That's what I was saying. Something did not work out the way that they thought it was going to. They thought that they were going to like be making more money and they were going to be more stable and they were going to be more successful and then they were going to come back to you. No, everything that they were building or if they did have any made any progress, it's gone to shit now because they made the wrong choice. They should have chose to build with you instead of you. I don't know why they didn't choose you. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I really just don't get it. <laughs> we have wishing well there's a lot of excitement in the air you awakened a new life in them and it has them lost in a field of possibilities it could have children could have been involved or they're just very childish like they're very no let's see why did they not why were they not choosing taurus why did they choose this other person over taurus oh because they i told you they don't love that other person they don't have feeling they they have feelings for you that they've been trying to like ignore or suppress, but it says they're emotionally unavailable. It is for your highest good to move on and find your happiness again. So it's like, that's why they felt like with you, they felt something. That's crazy. They chose a surface level situation where they didn't have to make it an open up emotionally. They didn't have to emotionally invest. Mm -hmm. Cause I told you King of Swords, Reverse Queen, they don't, it, it could honestly, for some of you not even be a romantic situation. It could be something platonic. ancestral karma right as i'm saying that they are clearing negative ancestral patterns that were passed down through the generations don't rush the journey yeah taking aim yeah they have stepped into their power and taking action towards you they will not miss their mark this time yeah i don't let's do one more and then i'm taking it over to the extended okay i guess we're getting two more oh what is this there's a lot of gossip surround, that surrounds this relationship that is affecting not only their judgment, but their vision too. There's somebody around them that's influencing them. It doesn't even have to be, like I said, somebody that they were in, in a romantic relationship with. It could be family, it could be friends, somebody that they're talking to. Somebody maybe told them that this is what they should do, which is ridiculous. And they're childish. They're very childlike. So they listen to whoever this person was. Battle of the wits until both of you learn to let your guards down and be vulnerable. This love will continue to be a battle. This person has issues with vulnerability. Yeah, but we have temptation. Each day it gets harder and harder to resist what they know in their heart to be true. I told you, they're trying to deny these feelings that they have for you. They see you as the forbidden fruit, but they're going to come in and want to try to compete for you and, and take the mask off, tell you how they really feel because this person's been hiding their feelings for you. Their inner warrior is being activated. They're getting ready to fight for you and overcome their fears of love. That's what it is. They felt true love with you. And that's why they chose somebody that they did love over you. I know that may not make sense, but there's people out there that are genuinely afraid of falling in love. I don't know. Or the feelings. This person didn't know what to do with their feelings for you. They want to remove the mask they've been wearing and be brave enough to reveal their true feelings. All right, y'all. I'm going to take this over to the extended reading so we can take a deeper look at this person's feelings, intentions, guidance, timing. All that will be in the extended reading. The link will be in the description box, or you can join my channel to get access to all my extended readings. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I will see you over in the extended reading. Bye.